the throwaway culture seeded in India in the last 30, 40 years has been seeded by a combination of forces. Uh, the World Bank, I think, has a very big hand in it because the World Bank, with its massive lending capacity, um, can shape the way an, a country organizes its resource use, its production systems, and its consumption systems. The Green Revolution was brought to India with the financing of the World Bank and the pressure of the United States. Um, the plastic culture very much, I mean, the petrochemical industry couldn't have grown as big as it has without World Bank aid. And even now, uh, the IFC, the, the private wing of the World Bank, continues to build this fossil fuel petrochemical economy. There are other ways in which, from the industrial societies, India was turned into the garbage dump. And that is through basic, you know, fundamental colonization. You constantly tell people what they do is primitive. If we use neem for pest control, it's primitive. If you use pesticides, it's sophisticated. If uh, you use a cloth bag to go shopping, it's primitive. You should have a plastic bag. If you have water taps in every corner to drink water or clean streams, that's primitive. If you have a plastic water bottle of Kindle and Aquafina preferred, then you are progressive. Now, these ideas of progress as throwaway culture, of course, are then bombarded on a daily basis through advertising, through corporate uh, aggression. And it's done with an intention. The intention is to change the way people think about themselves and about their society and about their water. And it has an impact, finally. The filth that you see in India with this throwaway culture is a result of the fact that there is no industrially organized system to pick it up. So every nook and corner, every commons, and the Ganga is the ultimate commons, becomes a place to throw your garbage into. About 10 years ago, I fought a case in the Supreme Court of India because toxic waste ships were being sent from the United States. And this information had been brought to me, so I filed a case. And when the judge asked, so are you suggesting, Dr. Shiva, that we are being treated like a waste dump? And I said, yes, we are. And it led to a huge series of investigations and a new alertness. Now, what's basically happening is in countries like the US, the waste isn't thrown by every consumer everywhere. It's collected in big garbage bags, giant sized garbage bags. You get trucks that come and collect it on a weekly basis. They're then taken to some giant waste dump. And those giant waste dumps then are now, because it is cheaper to ship it to countries like India or in Africa than to process it in the US, increasingly the concentration of waste of a global throwaway culture is being brought to third world countries. While our societies themselves are being transformed from conservation cultures to the consumer throwaway cultures, piling up our own waste. So we are carrying the waste of the world as well as our own waste. And the poor Ganga and, our, and other rivers are having to bear the burden.